Okay, let's just turn that. Time for some morning coffee. Party like it's 1994. Okay, so just the other day I did my first vlog with the X-H2. I was pretty psyched about it. I just wanted to start doing more vlogs, more videos with it. And so I decided to do another vlog. This isn't a photography vlog, it's just a vlog because I just wanna film something and practice with it, so why not? Even though people say that vlogs are dead, I don't think that vlogs are dead. Vlogs are a thing, a method, a type of video. You can show products, you can show different locations, different kind of things. It doesn't always have to be talking heads and, you know, professional style videos. You can do a vlog. I think it's perfectly fine and people get to see a point of view that is just something that feels normal. I think vlogs just feel normal. Now, while I'm drinking my morning coffee here, I found an old newspaper from last September. I haven't read this paper, it's been in my backpack ever since. And why I bought this paper, this magazine, was this right here. How to make cash with your camera. Now, my broadcast thought that it would be a good idea to buy this, but the, like the second choice of making cash is go shoot some volcanoes, go travel, make cash from wedding shoots. I know that weddings are like a popular thing. You can do weddings, but like fucking volcanoes. Are you gonna go shoot volcanoes? I mean, my broadcast thought that this would be an easy way to make money. I don't have money to go just travel and see volcanoes. What the hell, dude? Or maybe if you live near a volcano, you can go shoot that, but Finland, there is no volcanoes. <laughs> now, why I think that vlogs aren't dead is because if you look at people like, you know, okay, this is kind of scary because this is a gorilla. Gorilla, Joby, gorilla, gorilla, <laughs> I just said gorilla. This is a gorilla Joby pod. It is kind of flimsy, so I hope you don't fall down. Okay, so why I think that vlogs aren't dead is because we're looking at Peter Lindgren. Peter Lindgren does vlogs every so often, like probably every other day, he's got a vlog in Peter Lindgren vlogs. Go check him out if you haven't already, because he's an awesome YouTuber. You, If you like vlogs, if you like checking out people, what they do on a daily basis, between photography and video making, that's, that's Peter Lindgren. I get the feeling that he's not just making a video, he's doing something else. And that's what I want to convey in my vlogs. If I do vlogs, I want to convey that I'm talking to a best friend here, not the camera. So I'm just going with it. I'm just going with that. That's what I do with my best friend. I, we don't think that what we talk about, we just talk. That's it. So that is, that is what vlogs are about. But I'm heading out to town and I'm taking you with me. That's enough said. Let's see what happens. to the city center is something that if you're new to the channel you probably didn't know about me is that I'm a big gamer whoa I almost closed my backpack um, I bought Dying Light 2 my friend has been constantly bickering to me for the last three months that I have to get it because he wants to play co-op with it so now I got it so I can play co-op with him when we have the time he's got kids and I got work, so <laughs> let's see how this gonna happen. And second of all, good coffee. 
Okay, so vlogging in public is still kind of awkward. So I came back to the car, headed out to this big store called Giganti, which probably means in English gigantic. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who really likes horror games, but Dying Light is awesome because you can do it in co op. And my friend wanted me to buy that game because, well, there's nothing better than smashing zombie heads with a partner, you know? But there are like two horror games that are my jam. One of them is Last of Us and the other one is Resident Evil and I'm trying to find Resident Evil 2 Remake because I haven't played that yet and I really want to play it right now, so let's see if I can find it anywhere. Okay, so the remake is like a four-year-old game, it's hard to find nowadays and it's on PlayStation Store but it costs like 40 bucks new and I don't want to pay 40 bucks for a four-year-old four game, so I'm, that's why I'm trying to find it if it's in the store. Well, just as I thought, it isn't here. Resident Evil 4 is here. This is the new version of the 4. I'd really like to get that game, but I still want to play 2 and 3 before I get it. So, not yet. I did play the original Resident Evil 4 on PS3, 2, I can't remember which one it was on. It was a great game and I'd love to play the remake, but I still want to play Resident Evil 2 or 3 and well, they're not here, so let's head onward to somewhere else. Okay, so now I'm at the local department store, I guess it's the department store called Prisma and let's see if I can find it from there. Nope, nope, and nope, nope. I mean, it's funny how Red Dead Redemption is everywhere. It's a five-year-old game but I can't find Resident Evil 2 anywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna do some basic shopping and then head home. Hey there. You wanna come outside? It's kinda cold out here. I wouldn't suggest it. I bought you guys some food. You're probably happy like hell. You happy? I brought you some food. Oh boy. <sighs> now don't get me wrong, I love spring, but it's that time of the year when you put either too little on and you're freezing your ass off in the morning or you put, put too much on and you're sweating your balls by noon and this is awful. I hate, I sort of like hate spring because of this, but spring by itself, it is awesome time. The snow is melting, everything is beautiful. The days are getting longer. I just, I love spring. So back to the topic, vlogs are dead. I kind of misinformed you with the topic that vlogs are dead and that is not my opinion. I think vlogs are alive and doing well. In a world like this, where we're living in, you get quality shows from streaming services. I love quality shows like Last of Us, that was amazing and Mandalorian, that's amazing. Pedro Pascal is amazing. But when you turn on the TV, you realize that there's nothing more on there than reality TV. And that's just rotting my brain. I hate reality TV. Now reality TV, it is entertaining to a point, but there is no silver lining. There's no story. It's just people doing dumb stuff usually. And that's why I hate reality TV. But when you're going to YouTube, you look at vlogs, it is amazing to see people just showing, showing their lives, even though it's a form of reality TV, but still like people who are on the same wave, wavelength as you are, like I told you about Peter Lindgren, I love him because he just tells you the way things are, he shows his personal life, but at the same time he also answers questions that people wanna ask him, and he shows off different kind of filming techniques and photography techniques and gear and stuff like that. So it's not just his everyday life, it's, it's a lot about different kind of things else otherwise. Now what I think is that vlogs are essential in YouTube. Talking heads, gear reviews, stuff like that, they're great, they give you an audience, but at some point I think it's a move to start doing vlogs because people get to see a little bit more about you and your personal life and not just the business side of doing gear reviews and stuff like that. So vlogs are great, you can do photography vlogs, you can do just a daily vlog, you can do different kind of vlogs. Why not do a vlog? 
That said, I am really hungry. I'm not feeding the cats. They've had their breakfast and everything already, but I'm gonna feed myself. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. It's been about five hours now. So I'm starting to get pretty hungry. Hope you like the vlog. Remember to thumbs up, that bell icon, subscribe, stuff like that. Helps out a lot. And if you want extra cash, take photos of volcanoes. I'll be seeing you on the next one.